So in this example, we've got a little bit more data to plot and to draw an appropriate line of best fit. Again, this is something which is a key skill for GCSE physics. So what I'm going to do is just put my table of data over here. So I've got another copy of it. Um, now, first of all, the time's going to go from 0.2 up to 1.2. So just choosing the x-axis, if I make that 0, I can go 0.2, 0.4, 0.6, 0.8, 1, 1.2. Now going up the y-axis, we go up to 1.6 and we start at 0.5. Now this is where it's your decision. You don't always have to start at zero, so we could start labelling at 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8 and so on. For this one here though, I want to see what happens if we maybe take the line back to the origin. And so what I'm going to say is that if this is zero, then that's 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 1, uh, and then 1.2, 1 1.4, 1 1.6. Yeah, so it can definitely fit into the page. So I'm just going to draw that line in as well. And for this, I went up past 1.6 up to 1.8 because our last bit of data here is just above 1.6. I can then just go through the, the straightforward process of plotting data, just taking care with each point, again using a pencil in case I make a mistake. So that's our data. Now, um, there's this definitely kind of a, a trend that goes upwards, maybe a bit of a curved line best fit, but this one here doesn't really fit the pattern. So maybe this is an anomaly or maybe this one. Looking at the pattern, it seems to be definitely a curve around there. So I'd say that this one here, I'm just going to circle it because this is my anomaly. So I'm going to discard that when it comes to drawing my line of best fit. And it looks as well that this line of best fit does go indeed through the origin down here. So now I'm just going to very carefully draw my line in. Oh, I made a mistake. Even the pros do it. I didn't fully commit, so I'm just going to have another go at that. So there we go. I've drawn an appropriate line of best fit for this data, identified the anomaly. I've made sure that I've labelled both the y and the x-axis, and all my points are plotted as precisely as I can. So that's all there is to it when it comes to drawing graphs.